Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really kind of excited for this video because I don't think I've ever did this on my channel before. It is my favorite brushes. I'm going to be telling you guys about the brushes that I use every single day. I'm just obsessed with them and I think they are really good brushes and I need to talk about them because I know I don't talk about brushes very often on my channel. I'm like, I need to do that video. So I'm sitting down with you guys today and I'm going to talk to you about the brushes that I use pretty much every single day. They just, they have a special place in my heart and you guys need to know about them. So if you guys want to hear about my favorite brushes, then of course, just keep watching. The first one I'm going to talk about is one that I actually purchased because of Kathleen Lights because she is so obsessed with this brush. It is the It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush and you guys have probably all seen this when October hit because this is a limited edition brush. They only come out with it in October because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and they do such an amazing thing with this brush. For every brush that is bought, they give one to a woman that is fighting breast cancer and I think that is just a such a great honor and such a big deal. I only know one person that is battling breast cancer, but I have known so many other people that have passed away due to cancer, and that's why I even did a breast cancer tutorial recently in October. But I really think that if you guys are looking for a really good foundation brush, this is the one to get in October. I have tried several different foundation brushes, and they never worked like this one. This one is just so stiff but soft and fluffy at the same time. This one does not leave smear marks. It doesn't make my foundation look patchy. It's seriously amazing. I love this brush and I highly recommend to get this one. Plus it's for a good cause. So this is just all around a very good brush. For powder brush, I love using the Real Techniques powder brush. This is just so amazing. I love how fat and big it is, but it's still dense and compact. I love this because I like kind of packing on the powder, so this really does it for me. Me personally, I'm on the oily side, especially in the spring and summer, and so I have to pack on the powder because otherwise all my oils just like come through my foundations. It's really gross. But I have to set my face at least like twice a day, and this just does it for me. It just gets the job done, if you know what I'm saying. It's just huge and fluffy and it applies it so well. It doesn't lift up my foundation. It's so soft at the same time. This makes it so it just covers your face really quickly. It's really a good powder brush and I highly recommend it even if you don't have oily skin. I really think it just sets your face so well and it's just so soft. I love it so much. For bronzing my face, oh my god, this is my staple bronzer brush, and it's actually the Moda Pro Pointed Blush Brush. Can I help you? Hello? Finn likes to say hi. I could use this as a blush brush. I have a staple blush brush already, and nothing will ever change that. So I'm like, hmm, what else could I do with you? And I decided to put it in bronzer and just bronze my face with it. This is what I use today. My brushes are so dirty. I used them today. I'm sorry. But I love this. I got this in a BoxyCharm like months and months ago. I love the shape of it because it is really fat and fluffy. But it also comes to a point on top. So it really just gets into your cheekbone, but a little bit more spacious, so it just bronzes your face so perfectly. It makes the bronzing go by really fast just because of how large it is. I'm not always the one to have that sharp contour. I really like just bronzing my face on a daily basis just because I feel it looks like more natural. I'm not going for a Kim Kardashian look. Obviously it works for blush. I would totally use it for blush if I didn't have another blush brush. And they almost look very, very similar, but this has a little bit of a shorter bristles. But I just love the way it bronzes my face. It just makes it look so natural and it kind of spreads it out a little bit more because it is so big. So it just gives it a more tannish natural look and Definitely a very good brush. For my blush brush, I love the Real Techniques blush brush. This is like so good. Oh my gosh. This is probably one of my favorite brushes from that company alongside another one I'm about to talk about. But this just 
also so fat and fluffy and it just applies my blush so naturally because it's so fluffy i don't feel like it really applies my blush that intensely obviously it can depending on what blush you use like if you're using a very 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 intense blush like the brush can't help it but it apply it intensely but if you put in your blush and then tap it off a little bit and then apply it to your cheeks it applies it so naturally so perfectly it just puts it right in the perfect area on your cheek and i absolutely love this i love how soft it is it's just it's really amazing so for my favorite contouring brush i do use the crown brush my crown i want me know what company this was because my crown is almost scratched off so i don't know if this came with a name or not but I love the shape of it. It's perfect for contouring. It gets right underneath your cheekbone and it just gives you such a chiseled slate look. I love using this first and then I go onto my bronzer brush and kind of buff it out a little bit and I love it. I just think the shape of it is so perfect. It just makes it look stunning when I use this brush. I'm sorry, I don't know what the name is. I got it in a BoxyCharm like a long time ago and I have just been obsessed with using it. I know you guys have probably seen it in a couple tutorials because I use it all the time. It's just so amazing, it's so soft, and yeah, it's really a good brush. Just go to Crown. Dot com. I would assume that would be like their website or crown brushes. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a really good brush. Now I have three highlighting brushes and two are very, very similar, which is probably why I like them like the exact same. The first one is the Morphe M510 brush, which everybody has probably seen this brush before because it's sodium popular on YouTube. And the other one I just actually hauled and I used it in a tutorial recently and it's by Went Wild. I believe this is limited edition because it came in their holiday collection brush set. So I think these are very, very similar. The only thing that I think is different is this one by Morphe is a little bit more fluffy. But I like the Wet n Wild one a little bit better because it's a little bit more dense. It's still like really soft. They're both really soft. But I like how the Wet n Wild one is just a little bit more dense because it packs on more product. With a Morphe one, you have to like dip it in, apply it, dip it in, apply it. It's still really good because it's really fluffy and it will apply a subtle highlight. But I'm the kind of person that likes a well, bam intense highlight. I had to mention both of them because they are so similar in a way just because they're fluffy. I love them both. Now my next favorite brush from Real Techniques is the Real Techniques setting brush. Now when I first got this I did use it as a setting brush. In fact I just repurchased another one so I could because when I first bought it it did apply my under eye setting powder so amazingly. But I do like this when I have to really set my under eye fine lines. I must be getting old because I have really fine lines underneath my eyes. But anyways, I bought another one as a backup for actual setting my under eye concealer. But I love this for my highlight. This is seriously such an amazing highlighting brush. It just, it's so dense, but it's so fluffy at the same time, and I love the shape of it. I just love it. It gets right on my cheekbones so perfectly. It packs on the highlight when I want it to be packed on. If I want to go for a little bit more of a subtle highlight, that's when I take the Morphe one. But if I want a very intense highlight, these are the two brushes that I use because they are a little bit more compact with bristles, but they're both very, very soft, and I love both of these so much. So... This is a really long video, oh my gosh. To get on with my eye brushes, the first one I'm gonna talk about, I'm actually using for my nose contour brush, and it is the Luxie 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. Oh my god, this is such an amazing nose contour brush, just because of the shape, it's like a little bit of an angle, but it's fluffy at the same time. It just contours my nose so perfectly, like it just matches up my nose because of the curve. Yeah, you guys get it, but this is so amazing. I highly recommend it if you like to contour your nose. And I also put some bronzer underneath my lip just because that gives you the appearance that you have larger lips. So that's why I contour underneath my lip and it's such an amazing brush. I love Luxie brushes. They are so soft and so good. So I use these two brushes on a daily 
bases. They are so amazing. One is by Crown and the other one is by It Cosmetics. And they have the exact same shape on this side. This is a brush that I use to set my eyeshadow primer. I go into my Wet n Wild Single Shadow and Creme Brulee and I use either one of these brushes to set my eyeshadow primer. But on the other side, one has a pencil brush, the Crown. And the It Cosmetics has kind of a flat liner brush. I don't exactly know what the name is, but I use it to put eyeshadow on my lower lash line. It's just so perfect. I'm obsessed with these two brushes, and I love how there's two brushes on each one. I love bringing these when I travel because it's so convenient. The next brush that I actually have just fallen in love with is the Anjou. My fiance purchased like a brush set on Amazon, and this came in it. And it doesn't even have a name. It's a very fluffy pencil brush. It doesn't come to a point like a pencil brush does. It kind of looks like a very, very small shader brush because it's like square shaped. But I use this to buff out my lower lash line or I use this to really pack on my outer V shadow. It's just so amazing for so many different things just because it is so small and dense, but it gets the job done. I love this brush so much. The next brush, oh my god, this is a staple everyday brush for me. I know all these are, but I don't think I can live without this brush. This is a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, and I actually use it to pack on my outer V shade. It is amazing. It is fluffy, but it actually reminds me of the setting brush, but really a little bit smaller because it's almost the exact same shape. It comes up and then it comes to like a really slight point. The way it's shaped, I think it really gets in my outer V perfectly and then I can blend it into my crease and I really love this just for my outer V eyeshadow and that's what I use it for when I want to do like a smoky eye or even if I don't I just want to apply an outer V shade this is the brush I go to it is so amazing for that and last but not least the brush that I use every single day I don't know maybe these two brushes I can't live without it's just like these are a must-have in my makeup collection this is the elf professional eyeshadow brush and I love packing on pigment or packing on a foil eyeshadow or even just any eyeshadow that I want to wet and put on my eyelid. This is my favorite brush ever. This is such an amazing brush and I actually bought quite a few backups of them. They're like a dollar. They are so cheap. It is even funny but they are the best brush ever. I love this brush so much. Every time I go into one of those things, I always wet it and then I dip it in and I apply it. It's so dense. It's not scratchy dense. It's really soft, but it's really flat at the same time and it just packs it on so well. I love this brush so much. If you like pigments or even I use this with glitter recently and it was so amazing at packing on my glitter as well. But if you like any of that stuff, just applying like a wet eyeshadow to your eyelid, I would highly recommend this e.l.f. brush. It's so inexpensive. Like what do you got to lose? Like a dollar? But it's so amazing and it's one of my favorite brushes of all times. So that completes my favorite brushes in my collection. I hope you guys really enjoyed this different video. I'm trying to come up with different video ideas. So I'd really appreciate your ideas listed down below for me. Just comment, let me know. I'm trying to mix up my channel a little bit. Like this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!